Hello, kindergarten through fourth grade leaders. This video is for July 11th, July week two. And all month long, we are still continuing the life app of confidence, learning to see yourself the way that God sees you. And our memory verse, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. I apologize for turning the camera around on me, but here we go. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1.6 Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1.6 That is our memory verse for this month. And this week we are learning the story of Peter walking on water from the book of Matthew and our bottom line is stay focused on Jesus. So. A little summary for week two, we head to Matthew. Peter and the rest of the disciples were out on the Sea of Galilee when they noticed a figure walking on the water surface. When they finally realize that the figure is Jesus, Peter calls out and asks Jesus to invite him onto the water. Jesus did, and Peter took a stroll on top of the waves. However, only when Peter focused on Jesus is he able to stay afloat. So our bottom line, stay focused on Jesus. When we put our confidence in Jesus, we find the courage, to make the wise choice and a difficult decision. Jesus may not be asking us to walk on water, but he does ask us to trust him. And we hope that kids start to understand some practical ways to focus on Jesus and what he wants for their lives. So starting off as kids roll in, you can play a little game with them. Um, saying a prayer would be wonderful to stop and pause before they come in. Just praying for each and every kiddo that you are serving today and their families. And then as they roll in, you can play a little game of concentration. So concentration, 64, no repeats or hesitations. I'll go first, you'll go second. The category is cereal. So kids may have never played this game before, so you might have to teach them. And so they would say like cinnamon toast crunch, corn flakes, fruit loops, and they're going to keep going around the circle and they're going to say um, different kids, um, different answers. So, yeah, so they'll say a different one. I was making sure I was saying that right. And then once the category gets around the circle, you're going to repeat the opening rhyme and instruct the kids to the left of you to choose a new category. If anyone hesitates or loses the rhythm or repeats an answer, then they're out. So just a fun little way to start off the day. Then when service starts at 9 and 11, you are going to have kids create a sound or a dance sequence. For example, they could do la la la, boom, zoom, zoom, boom, zip, zap, tap, zap, tap, or floss, Carlton, floss, dab, floss, Carlton, floss, dab, whatever. So feel free to create a dance sequence with moves from your childhood. Um, invite kids to take turns standing in front of the group and sharing their made up sequence. And then ask the group to repeat the sequence that each kid creates. I bet kids will have a blast with this. Um, and you're just gonna say, it was fun to watch you guys imitate the sequences. And it was really difficult to remember the sequence, wasn't it? You had to stay super focused to repeat it correctly. Well, let's go to large group and hear about something that we should always be super focused on. So then you'll head down to large group to hear the story of Peter walking on water. When you get back, you're gonna do a little craft today. So um, on your carts, you have a piece of card stack that already has a line cut in it. You have these little boats. Big kids have to cut their boats out, sorry. You have little Peters, those are cut out for everyone, and little Jesuses, those are cut out for everyone. So what kids are gonna do is they're going to glue their boat down. There's a little flap they fold over. Actually, first they can color in their ocean, their lake. Um, I obviously didn't do the best job, but kids can color down crayons and markers. Then they're gonna glue their boat down that the disciples are in. They're gonna glue their Jesus down. And then um, I have glue dots on your cart. They look like this, that you can use to glue the Peter on to the craft stick. And then Peter is going to obviously go in here and then he can walk on water over to Jesus. This is in the front of your folder to kind of show you what the craft should look like. So you're gonna have kids put that together with you. And then you're gonna close it down by saying, even though Peter was afraid of the storm, he stepped out of the boat to meet Jesus. Peter was so focused on getting to Jesus that the storm stopped bothering him. 
But then something happened to make Peter shift his focus back on the storm. What was it? That's right, the wind and the waves not only caused him to change his focus, but also to panic. There are so many things in our lives that can distract us from focusing on Jesus. And when we focus on those distractions instead of Jesus, we make the distractions bigger than who Jesus is and what he can do. So what are some ways we could stay focused on Jesus? Listen to worship music, Joy FM, while we're doing chores around the house, reading the Bible, praying, coming to church. All of you guys came up with some incredible ideas on how you can stay focused on Jesus. And this week, I want you guys to practice some of those ideas so that you can stay focused on Jesus and gain the confidence to live the way he wants you to. Then for um, your memory verse activity, there's two options. For our little kids, there's just one option. You guys have these set of cards which say all the memory verse broken apart. So you're going to pass these out to the kids and have them color. Each, each kid will get a card and have them color in the cards. If you have not enough kids, then you can um, give the kids two cards. If you have extra kids, there's extra copies on there and there's copies for each service. And then you're gonna work together to put the memory verse in order and just practice it with motions. And then you can have kids mix around again and have them put them in order again. That's one option. For the, excuse me, for the big kids, another option that you have is this foldable um, memory verse card. So you'll see on here, there's little lines that will fold. And so what that looks like is it says, you're gonna give each kid the folding verse activity, have them look at their activity page, recite the verse a few times, practice it with, emo with motions. Do you guys like my notes on my hand? Ignore that. Um, and then you're gonna have them put their verse on the floor and tell kids when you start the music, they should start dancing around their paper, on their paper, sorry. And if they step off the paper while the music plays, they're out. So after 30 seconds, stop the music and ask kids to pick up their paper and read the verse again. And then they're gonna make a backward fold on the dotted line marked fold one. Then direct the kids to place the folded paper back on the floor, have them dance again, try to stay on the paper even though it's smaller, stop the music, pick it up, and have them fold it back where it says fold two. And then continue till they've done all four folds. So all that will be left is this little bitty square in the middle. And the kid who can dance on the smallest part of the verse wins. And then it's just going to say, our memory verse this month says that God will complete the good work that he started in us. And this means that he has plans for you and for me that he wants to accomplish. And his plans are good and perfect. And it's one reason why we need to stay focused on Jesus. So he can help us make wise choices and avoid distractions. And I can't wait to see the plans that God has for you guys. And there's also some discussion questions. How do you think Peter felt when he was walking on water? How do you think he felt when he started to sink? How can you tell if you're focused on Jesus? And do you think it's possible to stay focused on Jesus all the time? So those are the two memory verse activities. Big kids, you can do this one also. You can do both. You can do either or whatever's best for your group. And then you're, you're just going to close it down in prayer. Um, you're going to give each kid a sticky note. And you're going to have them write the word Jesus really big on it. And have them take their sticky note home. Tell them to put it on their bathroom mirror or in their bedroom somewhere that will be a reminder for them to focus on Jesus this week. And then you'll just close it down in prayer. And that is it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for serving and just being amazing small group leaders. Oh, also, I did mark all of your adventure Bibles to the story. It's always illustrated so perfectly so kids can kind of see what that looks like. If you guys want to read it in the Action Bible, it's just these two pages and it's marked in each room. So that is it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for serving. You're the most amazing leaders ever. So grateful for each and every one of you. And we'll see you on Sunday.